So when's the first time you first started coming out here? Well, I've been walking this area for probably 15 years or so, real consistently the last decade. And it's it's interesting because about a decade ago, you could walk this whole area and not see anybody. So, and, and now certainly that isn't the case. It's beautiful up here. Um, we have beautiful hills and we get to see the sunrise in the morning. It's just nice to get out in nature and do some exercise. Exercise, you leave all your stress, all your problems behind, honestly. Get new friends. We love Skyline! We don't want um, more buildings down here, apartments or whatever they want to build. We just love the mountain, you know. Do we do biking as well? So we like, just love the trails. Isn't it amazing that from here you can see the 91 and the 15 just alive with traffic, but up here it's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> We're not that yeah, far this away. really is. Oh, a beautiful morning. Yeah, I remember when I got to the city a year ago, you know, Mayor, you and Council um, talked a lot about the importance of trails and parks and really rebranding ourselves as the city of trails. You know, we've got the Prado Basin over here, we've got the Santa Ana River Trail, and then we're, the whole city is set on a backdrop of Cleveland National Forest, which is just an incredible amenity that we have, and I don't know that we've really fully tapped all of the potential that we've got um, with trail opportunities up here. No, we haven't even come close to it. We, we really, um, this area just wasn't as popular, not near as popular a decade ago, nor really was where we considered really a hiking community, but it's really grown. And you know, we got people coming from all over to, to come to Skyline area. Yeah. So we, we definitely need to take advantage of it. There's so many cool uh, little offshoot trails that uh, you can explore. So many residents over and over have talked about how they want to see more parks, more trails, more places to get out in nature, a better way to actually get into the National Forest so that they can access it with, with their family. Um, we've heard that loud and clear from uh, many, many residents over the past year. The fact that we have 228 acres here and 62 down in the meadow that we are preserving for open space, I mean, I. I think it's personally one of the greatest things that's ever happened in our city.